Simon says, Coming to easy strength from cycling, there was one muscle that I don't see talked about, the heart. Well, Simon, this is funny. This is how I know you don't read my work. Uh, uh, today, we did a very light, easy strength workout, and then I went for a nice long walk. I believe walking is cardio. Of course, sitting in this chair talking to you is cardio, too. In my new course, you can find at danjohnuniversity.com, I have quite a bit on cardiovascular training with easy strength, because one of the things you do easy strength for is that those 15-minute workouts, somebody told me they're 45-minute workouts this week, and I'm like, what the hell are you doing that takes you to lift that long? And then they told me, and it was like, that's not easy strength. If it takes you 45 minutes to do two sets of five and basically three exercises, some ab wheel, and then do a loaded carry, how the hell can you turn that into a 45-minute workout? You don't need to cook a turkey between each set. That's kind of funny. I remember that. I know generally that long cardio and strength aren't the best bedfellows, but wanted to ensure that the heart strength that I've developed won't be lost. So you have a ter terrible uh, image of strength and conditioning, the one I hate the most. You've put it on a line with strength here and cardiovascular work over here. And we know that those two things swim together. Um, uh, if you watch the Olympics, the Olympic trials especially, you know, you watch your 5,000 meter runners, maybe not in the technical final. Now you got to be careful. The final is a race to get gold, silver, and bronze. But in the, sometimes in the semis, the, the, you'll, you'll notice that the people go much faster. There's a rare human being who can keep up one lap with an elite 5,000 meter runner. And then they just keep going and going and going and going and going. Um, most, most elite distance runners lift a lot of weights. I mean, they take lifting very seriously. Now, yeah, maybe they don't deadlift a thousand pounds, but you know, they, they certainly get the work done. Any reason you don't have a standard for heart strength? <sighs> all that work, all the times I've shared the work of Phil Maffey tone, and you say that on my podcast to me. Simon, you have offended me to the core of my offense. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think I've told the story about when the machine at my doctor's office was, wasn't was calibrated right, and I was the first person to get the test, and my cholesterol levels were so bad, Dr. Brunetti called me up and said, we're sending you to a cardiologist, and of course the whole story is kind of funny. And while I've got this, so they put this horse collar on you, and then they put you inside of this big machine, and you're just strapped and wrapped. You've got electrodes over everything. And then in, and you can't drink coffee for 48, for 48 hours, which was the hardest thing for me. And then this guy takes a needle and he shoves it into your neck like this. And just before, just as he's getting ready to shove his needle into my neck, he says to me, Mr. John, what are you here for? I said, I have some kind of heart problem. And he goes, your pulse is 68. I go, is that bad? He goes, well, that's really good considering what we're about to do. My heart shot up to 75 and then 79 with this, this little drug they put in you that freaks you out. I think my heart's in pretty good shape, according to my cardiologist and my doctor. Because after I do my easy strength workout, I either heavy hands, ruck, bicycle, whatever. It would be high on my goals for health and longevity. My heart rate is raised in easy strength, but I do wonder if that's raised enough to fully benefit. So Simon, I don't know how you're emailing me on the podcast and have missed the fact that whenever I do an easy strength workout or talk about easy strength, I always recommend you instantly go out and do your sport. I don't know how you missed that, but there you go, Simon. Simon says, that question, Danny says, read my work. Thank you, Simon. Actually, it's a good question. I had a little fun with you. <laughs>